Well, welcome to the one o'clock uh, forum uh, reception and uh, word presentation. Uh, uh, the Hiram Percy Maxim Award is the AWRL's, uh, in my opinion, one of the top awards that uh, we award it yearly to uh, an individual 21 years of age or younger that uh, um, that is very active in amateur radio. And when I saw Ruth's uh, uh, package come in and uh, David sent up and several other people sent a lot of supporting uh, information up, uh, it was a no-brainer for me to, to jump on to, to support and to uh, fight for Ruth to for you to win this award this year, and uh, I had to had to use my knuckles a couple of times on a couple of the directors, but uh, got it through. Very proud to um, uh, of this uh, award. I'm very honored to be here and and uh, uh, present this award to you. This this award comes with a very nice check and. Uh, and a uh, very nice plaque. So Ruth, come on up, please. <laughs> 2018 AWRL Hiram Percy Maxim Award, uh, Memorial Award, presented to Ruth Bullitt, <clears throat> KM4LAO. Uh, a long text, a uh, er, uh, paragraph here of uh, some of the correct things she's done. But I'm so honored to pre present this to you, Ruth. <laughs> Yeah. Get a couple of pictures also with the award and the, the nice check. <laughs> oh, see that? Everyone, everyone good? Mm -hmm. Over here? Great. Congratulations, Ruth. Thank you. So Ruth has a few things to say, and uh, here's a nice protected uh, protected text for it. Hope everybody can hear me. All right. Thank you all so much for coming. It's really an incredible feeling to be standing here today as a 2018 AWRL Hiram Percy Maxson Memorial Award recipient. I'm incredibly honored and so grateful to the AWRL Board of Directors that conferred this award to me. A few sh short years ago, I never dreamed that this could happen. And I'm so grateful. And thank you to everyone who's, who has supported me, both here in person and across the country. So amateur radio, I believe it's truly one of the best hobbies in the world because of the numerous activities we can explore within it. That's why I love it so much. There's always something for me to learn. No matter how much I know, there's always someone else who knows more and can teach me and answer all my questions and I try to learn more myself. <coughs> Three and a half years ago when I got my ham radio license, I was a shy 16 year old. I got into the hobby because I just wanted to learn Morse code. That's all I knew about it. All I knew was from the deck technician level exam. The adventures I've had since then have been astounding. Especially this past year has been an incredible amount of fun. Um, the first thing that got me into ham radio was HF and the CW, and I've enjoyed keeping that up this past year. Um, in addition to the CW operating, I've been enjoying doing a lot of satellite operating. Um, operating on satellites from numerous locations around the country as I move around for school and my co-op and even earning VUCC, that's working 100 grids. Um, in terms of school-wise, I've really enjoyed this past year. It's been a good challenge in classes, but I've been able to bring ham radio back to Kettering University, which has been incredible. Um, I brought the amateur radio club back. The Kilo Wake Hotel Papa Sierra had been um, inactive for quite a number of years, and it was really enjoyable getting to head up the um, student body that brought it back. Um, it was a lot of fun just getting students interested in the hobby and connecting them with, uh, with mentors in amateur radio. Um, it was very exciting. The a couple weeks ago, we were able to get KHPS back on the air for the first time um, during the AWRL School Club Roundup. And it was a lot of fun just helping students see what we were all about, um, thanks to some incredible alumni that came down and um, brought an amateur radio van for us to operate from. We were able to sit smack dab in the middle of campus with a big antenna on top of a van. We got a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. um, so much so that the 
Kettering's president, Dr. McMahon, actually came out to see what was going on, and he actually used to have his novice license, so we'll see what we can do about that. Um, but this year has been incredible in terms of networking as well, for me especially. Um, I really enjoyed getting to work at Textron Specialized Vehicles here in Augusta, Georgia. I got met some great people there and really enjoyed getting to expand my, my knowledge as a working in groups such as Advanced Concepts and um, Off-Road Vehicles. Um, it was one of the highlights of the year was getting to drive off-road vehicles around on a dirt track and I couldn't help but think how much fun it would have been ha to have an HT on board that off-road vehicle and get to talk about my excitement live as I was bouncing around. <laughs> it was quite fun. Um, I was also able to attend the International Wireless Communications Expo back in this past spring thanks to the Radio Club of America. It was a great networking and really inspirational for me. I've met so many amazing people from around the country who have helped shape me into who I am today. I want to take a little bit of time to thank each of them personally. So first, a huge thank you to my mom, Sharon, KM4TVU, and the rest of my family. When I decided to get my license, my parents said, okay. They drove me to this technician class, they encouraged me as I studied, and they celebrated with me when I passed the exam. I'm still amazed that my mom let me go to my first field day in a location that we didn't really know about two weeks before, and there certainly wasn't anybody we knew. But I'm so thankful she did, and that rock, rock started my journey in amateur radio. From that day on, and I've explore, explored ham radio, from learning Morse code to on-air HF operations, from national parks on the air to getting to operate on satellites, from being mentored to mentoring others, and from writing articles to getting presentations around the country, it, my mom has been there by my side. I'm so proud that she passed her technician license the same day I upgraded to extra. And some of my best memories in the hobby are when she's by my side. She's now an extra class ham, and I couldn't be proud of her. My, the rest of my family has supported me, and I'm so glad that they're all here today to, to celebrate this, this accomplishment. Dave, W4DTR, you're my very first mentor. You met my mom and I at 2015 Gars Field Day. You walked us all around. You answered my dozens and dozens and dozens of questions. <laughs> and you made yourself available by email and phone to be of all the assistance you could to us. That first day was a true indication of who you really are, but you've spent countless hours since then mentoring me on so many topics in person and from afar. I'm so grateful for the people you've introduced me to and all the ways you continue to be my mentor. Matt, NN4K, Paul, W4KLY, and Dozier, WA4DEO. You are my first CW mentors. You've, each of you have taught me different aspects of Morse code. You've encouraged me as I've improved my skills, and you hold a place of honor as my first three contacts under my own call sign using Morse code on HF. Thank you for all the wonderful ways you've adopted me as an honorary granddaughter and supported me both in ham radio and in life. Bill, WR1TR, you've embraced my enthusiasm for the hobby and channeled it in order to help me gain practical application of, the, of ham radio. One of my favorite memories with you is uh, shortly after I passed my general and I was just having fun trying to work as many DX stations as I could. I stayed up late trying to work one and there was a rare country I was trying to get but little did I know it was just a little bit into the extra portion. As soon as I worked him, I realized this, and I promptly started panicking, thinking the FCC was going to come yeah. after me. <laughs> Thankfully, Bill was there to calm me down. I'm like, it's okay. And since then, I worked the state again in proper bands. Um, but thank you for all your practical application and help you've been. Martha, W4MSA, you've been such an incredible resource, and they've given me so many opportunities. I'm so thankful for the times I got to volunteer with you at the science festivals, ARISS contacts, and then more. Thank you for so many ways you've brought in my horizons and brought people into my life with unique opportunities. Dave, W8AJR, thank you for encouraging me as, as I progress through college and for connecting me with all sorts of interesting people. It's really been a pleasure getting to know you. There are so many others that I could just go on about. Sean, KX9X. Emily, Kilo Bravo 3, Victor Victor Echo, Kevin, and 4UFO, and so many more who have been a part of my ham radio family. To everyone who has mentored me, thank you. You have truly made a difference. But success comes not only from one person, but from a group of people working together for a common goal. Being a member of numerous clubs around the country has really broadened my horizons in many ways. First, I really owe a big thank you to the AWRL. I appreciate the ways that the league supports the hobby and I'm glad you support him as a member. 
Guards, the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society. You're an incredible club, filled from top to bottom with amazing hands who work together to make things happen. I'm so grateful that your field day was the first one I came to, and that three years later, I can still be a part of the club, do life membership, field day operations when I'm home from school, and Skyping into club meetings every week. Thank you to every member of Guards who's welcomed me and taught me. You all hold a very special place in my heart. The North Bolton Amateur Radio League. I'm so proud to be a part of this club that's doing a wonderful job supporting youth. There are so many amazing fellow club members here that I'm lucky to know and learn from every day. The Alfred Memorial Radio Club who is sponsoring this event. I'm so glad to know so many of your members and I'm forever grateful that yours was where I was able to do my first ham radio presentation. These past two years have brought two more clubs into my life as I've traveled between Kettering University in Michigan and my co-op job at Textron Specialized Vehicles in Augusta, Georgia. I'm glad to be a member of the Genesee County Amateur Radio Club in Michigan and their hands-on support and advice as I restarted the Kettering University Amateur Radio Club has been very invaluable. I also joined a wonderful club in Augusta, the Amateur Radio Club of Columbia County. Thank you all for welcoming me, welcoming me when I'm in Augusta and helping me to learn more about the hobby. And I'm so, so touched that so many of you are here today. In addition, there's lots of special interest groups. I've really enjoyed the Young Ladies Radio League. It's been a special place to meet other YLs on and off the air. I'm thankful for the Morse Code groups, the Straight Key Sentry Club, and the CW Ops that push me to get better in Morse Code and make it so much fun to get on the air using this mode. Finally, a big thank you to the dozens of amateur radio satellite operators who have elmered me on the birds and made it so much fun to chase both chase grids and rove to various places on amateur radio satellites. Joining AMSAT and helping support amateur radio in space has been so worthwhile. So my goal as the 2018 AWRL Hiram Percy Maxim Memorial Award recipient is to use this platform to promote the hobby in a positive way. I see a lot of people coming into the hobby who are excited about the ways we can communicate and the technology we use to do so. So my goal this year is to share my love with the hobby with as many people as I can in the world around me, encourage hands I meet to mentor others and pass along their knowledge, and promote ham radio as much as I can through various platforms. I'm really excited to see what doors open up as I continue through college and my amateur radio adventures. And I'm incredibly honored to say that I'm the 2018 AWRL Hiram Percy Maxson Memorial Award recipient. Thank you.